baby's beautiful. Thank you. She's I a just cute. Saw all those pace for it. She's a cute kid. I got a cute, cute kid. kid. Thank God my baby's not a dog show. Thank God. Thank God. And she's got two eyes because yeah. Yanni only has one eye, so we're nervous. Yeah, and my only job. Is- <laughs> <laughs> she's got two separated she's got beautiful two eyes. eyes. She looks like your wife. Thank God. Yes, because, thank God. I mean, what would you do if your baby came out and looked like Marisa? I think I yeah, I might, I might have to just try <laughs> yeah. to shove it back up there and say, yeah. go back to where, you go back it up where your you came from. Butt. Yeah. Uh, thank God, my only job I think is to hug my baby little girl just as many times as I can, so she doesn't come out and look, lesbian. You're, I, is I know, that no, 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 because <laughs> no, it's a joke. Uh, I, no, I don't mean honestly, it. Honestly, let me I'm give you some you. fatherly advice. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing the opposite. I'm hoping and praying my kid's a fat lesbian yeah. because it just, as a father, it just takes a little pressure off if she's just fat and just goes a little gay. Yeah. You don't got to worry about some, you know, fucking guy coming in, like, and just gonna, you know. Treat her like shit. So yeah. I think you want to go fat, lazy. Yeah, no. I'm just, I'm saying that was a joke. I want my oh. baby to be whatever. Yeah. The first thing we're going to do is sit her down, tell her about tolerance, and tell her yeah. for her to choose. It's up to her. I support it. It's just, I put myself on notice for saying that. I apologize. On notice. I was on on notice. notice. I apologize. Perfect I segue. my appearance. I'm sorry. Did you watch the On Notice Boys video, Alex? No, I didn't. He's too know. fucking busy. Schultz got him editing five days. Yeah. He doesn't, he doesn't yeah. have time. He's yeah. <laughs> Wow. It was there. I'm glad you said it, and not me. The joke was there, so you know the time is marked. The joke was there. See, I was gonna, Sorry, I was, no, I was gonna talk no about. Offense, I'm just, no, no, the joke was you there. Can make jokes without. Yeah, you could do it. Right, yeah, he yeah, doesn't yeah. care. I mean, we fucking it's a joke. joke. But you I mean, were joking. Making fucking more money than us. Yeah, it's fucking. He's joking. He's on notice. He's putting on notice. We're I'm on, just kidding yeah, around. It's a joke. He's like, we're comedians. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love you, AOC. Yeah. <laughs> So the odd notice boys. <laughs> <laughs> so the odd notice boys yeah. is it's a backlash against PC culture, right? It is and it isn't. It's just we're making a joke at one side. We'll also come out with a sketch next week that's making fun of the other side. Yeah, we so do. We do that. We do do. Fucking loud we're just that's down. That we're do. not like we're just being silly. But the problem is, is when we've made plenty of jokes about the other side, there's no backlash. Yeah. It's just either like it or I don't like it. Anytime you attack. That side, it's all backlash. If you don't like it, they can't just keep their mouth shut. Where it's like either favorite it and like it or move on. Yeah, that side you're talking about people who want politically correct things. Yeah, yes, yeah. like and they yeah. have to. Cr- what do you? Th- the, the whole country wasn't boarded up. I'm gonna because be of honest. Trump supporters. Now I'm gonna push back a little bit because I've no. I used to love Republican audiences. Yeah, they didn't give a fuck. Just don't talk about Jesus. That's easy for me. I'm religious. I respect your respect your religion. We're good. You don't talk about Jesus. You're good. Now anything you say, anything that they perceive as anti-Trump. Fuck this guy. He doesn't know anything. He's so stupid. Trump has actually created some right-wing snowflakes, too. That's true, too. As funny as he is on Twitter and as funny as it is when he shits on PC culture... He also has created what, some snowflake culture you want, right a, you want a moderate audience. Having the, the, the centrist, that's the best. The abs- best. Best well, audience. Have, which I genuinely believe makes up the majority of our country. country. Yeah. I think the majority of our country are down the middle. Yeah. Like, you know, I, we're all down the... I mean, Yanni's liberal, but he has a gun. You know, like, I'm, 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 more, I'm more conservative, but... You know, I believe that there should be tighter border security. It's like so. It's, it's what it is. I got a fucking, you know, I got a house and a kid. But you know, I believe in a woman's right to choose. I think I don't want children in cages. You know, but it's like, listen, if you don't got your right papers, you got to get thrown over the wall. It's just what it is. You know, and Yanni's a snowflake with a shotgun. So, but he's got property. Yeah, you we're know? not. So, everyone's trying to put us into these monoliths, yeah. into these groups. We're all complicated people that have opinions that run the gamut. You know, I think as a comedian. I think for me and our podcast, History Hyenas. Um, hyenas. Hyenas. History Hyenas. Patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. Patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. Yep. We're either trying to make you laugh no matter what you believe or we're trying to piss you off for the right reasons. Yeah. I mean, yeah. pissing someone off for the right reasons is a lot of times just as fulfilling as making them laugh. The On Notice Boys sketch, if you guys watch it or if you... Check it's, it out. It's, it's very not funny. even... There's a no, moment... I'm sorry to interrupt, but there's a moment where Giannis... I'm not giving anything away, but he, he whistles. kills that sketch. Holy! F- I saw Chris almost break. That made yeah. me laugh harder. Yeah, that shit killed me. Fa, you saw it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I saw. It I saw it three times. <laughs> yeah. I saw it free. It was three minutes, and I saw it for free. Three <laughs> times. <laughs> Thanks, Governor. Thanks, Governor. So, yeah, so what kind of fucking shoes are you wearing, guy? I mean, those things are wild. They look these, like whipped cream or these something. These are the studio shoes. Andrew I'm, bought a pair for everybody. Oh, yeah. God. Okay, so the Fuhrer boy. Looks like a no, baby's fucking winter jacket yeah. on his foot. Yeah. 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 So, but with the AOC sketch, 
<laughs> All we were trying to point out is we have no problem with AOC or the we're just like silly. We understand some good things are bad. You know, like we said, we before, understand both sides. We yeah. understand both sides. But the thing that we were making fun of, which was scary, is that she tweeted out that any Trump Cinco fan, any that we were going to be on some kind Cinto of fan. yeah Cinco fan. That's what it is. Sicko fan. Sicko fan. Sicko fan. Sicko fan is what he's trying to say. Yeah. Any 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 Trump. <laughs> he's got a doctorate in physical therapy. But here's the thing about a physical therapy doctorate. You don't really got to learn how to read you to know how to massage talk. people. No, it's what it is. Yeah, yeah I just get in there. Yeah. It's just about making them come. So, <laughs> so I, I, that the sketch was about just calling that lunacy out. How yeah. anybody would be on a list because of something they tweeted when the whole point of America is to have freedom of speech and be in democracy and agree to disagree. So we just thought that tweet was wild. So we went off that. It's if you're gonna just write off almost half the country, that's insane. Yeah. For yeah. any one reason, yeah. that's insane. Yeah. yeah. And but, I think you got to understand some people might not be extreme right and they still voted for the guy. Yeah. Why? Instead of saying, fuck you, hey, maybe if you ask why you voted that way and then I understand you and then I'm like, all right, but here's my point of view. Look, we can actually meet somewhere in the middle. One, I bet you one of the, because some members of my family did this, one of their some. amazing people. One issue voters. Yes, single issue. One issue. Well, just how the Republicans and Democrats have chose, you know, either the pro-choice, pro-life yep. religion thing, that makes people have to choose. Like people in my family are very Catholic, very religious, great people. They believe in the. They believe that a baby's a miracle and you can't kill a life, so they will always vote Republican, always, just because of pro-choice. Yeah. So it's like, does that make them a horrible person? Yeah. No. no. But there should be separation of church and state. So that's what I'm saying. There yeah. should be, Roe but there's Wade, not. Yeah, it's not a religion. It's more of a. You but know, it's like that you know, ties right. back into Chris's point that not yeah. everybody should be able to vote. I think. Yeah, I think yeah, so I too. Mean, I you understand you're religious. Any one issue that trumps everything else, it probably. Eh. Yeah, I don't think I should be able to vote. You made a good point, though, dude. It's like, yeah, I mean, we go, the, the left has become uh, such an easy target because there's so f a lot of, the far left has kind of hijacked right. them a little bit and they've gotten so zany. Yeah. But the right is still, there's Very still meat point. on that bone because those motherfuckers will believe anything. True. You, yeah. you get on the internet Both and you're extremes. like, hey, you're like, hey, there's kids touch, there, there, I saw some kids getting touched in the basement of a Walmart at 23rd and 2nd. There's like 15 guys going to show yeah. up in military garb and shotguns saying, where's fucking Hillary Clinton? How did she yeah. turn into a demon? And how's she fucking kids? There's, there's still to this day people that think Hillary Clinton like flavors or Pepsi with aborted fetuses. Yeah. I mean, you get a fucking parking ticket there like George Soros did this. George Soros is like the fucking all knowing evil devil can Don't do anything. Yeah. Let me ask you guys a question. I think, and I've said this before, I think... You gotta get more political, like Hosh. I think... I don't, I don't know anything. I didn't even know every don't state got guys, two don't senators. Assume. Yeah. Uh, here's what I think. I think... Rush Limbaugh said this. Politics is not a spectrum. It's a circle. And the extremes are the same. Mm -hmm. And tell me if I'm wrong. I think it's almost like... You know how kids like, don't feel like they belong anywhere and sometimes that's how they fall into a gang? Like yeah. They just feel love from this group of people, yes. so that's their family? Do you think it's the same thing politically? Like What makes a person go extreme one way or the other i think yeah, there's a little bit of like yeah a little comfort in the group for and, sure uh, it's like a group hey yeah. i belong somewhere yeah comfort in yeah. the group it's the same i think for when like a woke a woke mob comes after you i think if they didn't know that there was others backing them up when those pylons happen online yeah they wouldn't do it they yeah. would be quiet they'd be scared to go at you if they didn't know that they had like a whole group that would also pile on and like it and yep. retweet it and yep. yeah i mean we're we're our species is shit yeah. We're shit. Our species, well, it's based in tribalism, our species. Yeah. That's that's the whole point of surviving. It's a tribe. It's, it's a tribe. And people always want to go right to, oh, that's race. You're... No, it's not about race. It's about like what you said. Like you find your tribe. You find the woke tribe or you find the conservative tribe. Or sometimes people do it on race or teens. Well, or the whatever. freedom of being a minority is my tribe is right there. I don't have to look for it. Right. That's what's your tough about me. Your tribe is not being... in Pakistan, for sure. Absolutely <laughs> not. Yeah. No, so they... when you said right there, you, no. were point... you should be pointing They want to a space for their own tribe. Yeah. How's that going, guys? Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's easy if you're a minority in the sense that like, oh, this is my tribe. I'm with them. Let's roll. Whereas for a white straight guy in America, there is no, hey, this is what your identity is. I remember Andrew as a comic would always be like, what do I open with? I don't know how the fuck to open right. to address the audience. Hey, this is who I am. For me, I looked up, we went back and like studied old comics, every minority comic from Chappelle, Greer Barnes. Like I looked at special after special after special. I, Patrice, I think. They pretty much always open with, in some way, I am this race. Mm -hmm. Let's acknowledge that. I'm different than most people. The majority of the country, that's it. Yeah. White people don't have that thing to just latch on to. Yeah. So I right. think you guys are more, it's easier for you guys to fall into political extremes because it's like, oh, that's something I can latch on to. Interesting.